Okay, so uh, I am watching the Vice President uh, debate tonight, and like with uh, Sergeant B, when he watched the presidential debate, I am going to be playing uh, political bingo with this uh, Vice President debate. Okay, this is my card. As you can see, I've got a line for issues that he brought up. I've got a predictable quote. I have people that will probably be mentioned. Uh, numbers that will be brought up, and uh, just some some uh, average um, predictions. All right, yep. here is Get where it. I Get am it, so far Get it. with Bingo. Get it. I think there's some potential here. Get him, Kamala. Okay, so I finished with VP debate Bingo, and I didn't get a Bingo. I guess it was a little more unpredictable than I had thought. Uh, if you see anything on this, though, that I should have marked, let me know. Although I don't think it matters. I didn't get a debate bingo, and quite honestly, I don't care. So, with every debate, there's always some goody two-shoe who wants to ask, Hey, can't we all get along? You have to say something nice about your opponent. Why are you always got to argue? Can't we all just work together? This one was no exception. A uh, question from an 8th grader out of Salt Lake City named Brooklyn wanted to know, well, if they can't get along, what hope is there for the citizens? <sighs> Brooklyn, there are Nazis. Nazis. Walking in our streets. Marching in our streets right now. Okay? Those are not people you want to have a tea party with. What What does working together with them mean? And We help them round up the non-whites? Come on. Grow up. So I just got done watching the vice president debate. I think the biggest question that's got to come out of this debate was, why didn't Mike Pence swat that fly that was in his hair? I mean, it was in there for a good three, four, five minutes, and at no time did it even seem like he noticed that there was a fly in his hair. I don't think there's any questions to why the fly went after him. I mean, flies, they know shit when they smell it.